as leaders, who would we have to become to be a global brand? Because just like the give and receive happens between you and your client, how many of you think there's a give and receive happening in the transformation? When you're growing as a person, you help yourself, you then help others, true or false? So the give and receive happens on both levels. And what we did is we brought this lady named Helen Irwin, she's a global brand expert. We brought 10, uh, 12 of the top corporate and field leaders together, and then actually another 15 or 20 uh, which on an advisory team. So we've got literally the best of the best working together to make Take Shape for Life better. And we wanted to eliminate our brand confusion and create some distinction for Take Shape for Life. Meaning that, you know, we don't have to think about the, the center, the online, the franchise, you know, just who is Take Shape for Life so we're not confused. So that's our mission is to click clarity and focus, and to upgrade our infrastructure so we can go prime time. Prime time means Apple, Apple good. You know, like Southwest Airlines good. Like, they're the best, no one does it better. That's what prime time is, so that's what we're working for. And some of the projects we started have been actually pretty exciting. We've actually turned some big things around. Who was at National Convention? our annual conference, and we rolled out our training system, our unified training system. Has anyone uh, visited it? So for those of you that are new coaches, here's what's great. You go online, working with your mentor, we can help you through a training portal, help to get started, and start your business in just a few minutes here and there. It's very simple, very easy. We also created a training, advanced training modules for team building. We have new marketing materials, and a whole new leadership platform. This new leadership platform was released at Sundance. And how many of you were there at Sundance? Is that a new Take Shape for Life or what? Is that a whole new world? Evolutionary event. It was transformational. It's transformational. And so, just real quick, and then I'm gonna move on to uh, how to actually get started. This is, I think, for me, it was a, an important awareness. You guys came to the same thing is we did this chart, we were looking at how do you grow? How do you, how do you get better, right? How do you get better at something? And, and who's ever been in that state of flow where you're just in the zone and everything is just firing and you don't even, you're just humming, right? Who knows what I'm talking about? We've all been there, right? Well, there's actually a guy who wrote a book, he spent his whole life studying it. He wrote a book called Flow. Mikhail Csikszentmihalyi, Russian guy. Anyone heard of it? Great book. Great, great book, great. Yeah. Flow. How many of you would like to learn how to stay in flow more often? Well, that's what the book is about. One of the things he found, key, key element, to be in flow, there was had to be a balance between the challenge and your competence. For example, if your confidence was really high and the challenge was really low, when you're doing something that is at that level for you, you're bored. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. If the challenge is really high and the confidence is really low, you're doing something that has that kind of a angle, that's going to create what? Stress and anxiety, so your performance will not be good. Performance is not good here, performance is not good here, neither is the enjoyment factor, true or false? True. So, the perfect balance <coughs> is somewhere right in the middle here, where the challenge is close to the confidence. So you challenge your competence, and if you challenge your competence, if you stretch yourself, what will you do? If you take a muscle and you stretch it beyond its comfort zone, what will happen? First you break it down, then you fuel it, and then you let it recover, then it gets what? Stronger, you build it, right? So to grow, you need what? Okay, so this is grow. This is who you become. Okay, the transformation. The competence, as you get better, and you become more competent, you get better what? Results. This is your skill, your results. This is your abilities over here. 
that you're creating. So as you work, you stretch yourself, you get better, and you work and you stretch yourself, and this is how you stay in the flow and you get better. So here's transformation. This is transaction. They are actually in harmony with each other. And those of you that have been in one of our other courses, we talked about the procession effect, the, the Bucky principle of the procession effect, is this is always happening. This is always happening. So the thing about Take Shape for Life is as we grow and we transform ourselves, we then become more confident, capable to reach out and help somebody else on their journey. And it's a cycle of winning that, that we go through. So let's go through 